Welcome to QuestionInfo.co.uk, Get Going Guides. Uh, this tutorial we're going to be looking at some freeway actions and the CSS3 rollover action. You'd need to download the CSS3 uh, action from uh, uh, SoftPress's website from the Action Forge. You can just type in uh, into Google uh, and find it uh, or look at some other tutorials where we've looked at installing uh, actions before. We've looked at actions for simple rollovers and slave rollovers in previous tutorials. You can look at that if you want to find out more about them. But this is using a particular function within uh, Freeway to make something a bit more different uh, within a rollover. So what I've done is I've imported a picture uh, into Freeway, uh, just a simple button at uh, this case, but it can be anything you like. And uh, you can import this picture uh, via CSS layout, or you can import it via a table layout. You can import it via an HTML uh, CSS uh, box or a graphic item. So you can bring in the image uh, any way uh, that you like. But what you want to do is then to decide uh, to use the uh, CSS3 action. So we go to the item menu down to actions and then we move down to CSS3 rollover. Note it is different to the CSS rollover. So we click on CSS3 rollover and then we'll look at the actions window and you can see that these are the properties you can put into your rollover. So we're going to keep it simple first so at the moment we're going to just make the um, rollover uh, enlarge uh, and uh, change the opacity uh, of it uh, a little bit um, and then if it rolls over uh, so we're going to start off with it being 50% uh, opacity and when it rolls over it's going to be 100% and it's going to increase size as well. Down here we can put in how many tenths of a second do we want this action to look to work on. So it's going to be four tenths of a second, so it's going to be fairly quick uh, this uh, action. So now let's uh, preview this and see what it looks like. So we're going to preview in f uh, Safari and you can see that as I roll over it it gets more opaque and it enlarges through it. So let's change some of those settings uh, a little bit now. So we just click on the item, call up the uh, actions window and we're going to make this go into um, it's going to take one second now so I'm going to put 10 temps uh, in there and I want to now view it there so it's now going to be a slower version of it so if we go there and you can see there it takes a bit longer for it to roll out so very simple to use but there's some other effects uh, we can use uh, within this as well. We can also make it spin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to spin while enlarging 360 degrees. So we now preview this and it should, as I roll over it, it should now spin and up it comes and then it spins back when you do it. So, you, so that's fine. So, but we can make some different effects on it. So what I want to do is to get it to spin 30 degrees and I want the duration to only be to be fairly quick and I'm going to keep the size now at 100% so it's not going to enlarge anymore and I want to keep the opacity at 100. So this time it uh, is just going to rock rather than have any change. So let's see what that does. So we've got a four in, and as I roll over, it will just slant, which gives a slightly different effect uh, to a rollover uh, on your page. So the CSS3 action is very useful. You can use it to create all sorts of different effects from changing time, making it spin, you can make it spin clockwise or counterclockwise, you can change the opacity and the size of it. And all this is without having to make a different graphic and bring in that in to do something. And it adds a sort of animated effect to your uh, website. So, very simple to use, uh, CSS3 rollover, just install it uh, into your package and uh, you're up and running. So this is crystalinfoco.uk, you can find me on my website or you can find me on YouTube or iTunes.